All right, to get this started, what I want to do is make a duplicate copy of this so I can right click duplicate. And in this case, I'm going to take this and I'm going to call it um, transform rotate short or shorthand. You know, got to hit enter. Capital S. There we go. Sometimes it really helps to pound the enter key so that it actually works for some reason. It's very sensitive. I don't know why. So in here, what I want to do is now make a new script. And I could start out from the beginning or I can just um, copy this one if I wanted to. So I'm going to duplicate this one. Sometimes I'm going to be able to get away with doing that. Sometimes not. So this time I'm going to right click and then duplicate. Then I can go right back and I'll rename it right here in Unity. Okay, just like that. And here's my short. I want to remove this script and add the short to it. And I got to do that way at the end. And I can edit this by going and double clicking on here. So the difference between what I'm going to show you in this example is the function update. Uh, here's the basic transform rotate, but it's written in a different way. Let's say I don't want to write it out as one zero zero zero. And I want to just do it based upon a rotation of X, Y, Z. Well, here's how you would write that. You would use something called a vector three. Okay, because there's three vectors and there's actually four vectors. We'll get into that later. But for right now, three vectors. And I would name this vector three right. And you would like, wow, that's going to spin it actually uh, from left to right. But that's not the case. And let me show you how this works because it gets really frustrating sometimes if you don't. Uh, let's take the transform, hit F, and look at this. When I say transform right, right is the X, right? <laughs> Not to be confusing even more, but it is. It, this is the right hand, so X, X and negative X. So it's going to spin, pretend I just shoved a pencil right into this magical red line. It's going to spin across that axis, so this would be spinning an X. So if I want to spin it the same way as this, I would have to use the right. If I wanted to spin it forward, I would have to use something like um, this one right here. Okay. So I would have to use Z. So it gets really kind of confusing, but I think it, once we do it, you'll get you'll get it down pat. Uh, let's get that by going in here. So vector three right. And let's make sure that this one's the shorthand one and we'll move it out. So incidentally, they're going to be spinning in the same direction, but they're using two different methods. Now, why you would use one correlating to the other is this. Let's say I go back to the transform rotate one and I go to edit. What happens if I put a higher than a one value here? I can go 10 and then save that out and hit play. You'll find that this one spins a lot faster based upon frame rate, where this one, well, I can't actually go in and edit it. Uh, to say anything higher than uh, the transform rotate short because um, it's using vector three right. Okay, so I would have to use a new method in here and that's going to be in the next video to control speed if I'm going to use this. Incidentally, I like using this a lot better but it is a lot more confusing. It's just an easier method to write it out this way.